Hey everyone, meteorologist Joe Martucci. You know, I always go back and forth on these kind of days because while it's so beautiful outside, we do have a dangerous, even deadly risk for wildfires as we go into Wednesday here. Good news is we can do our part. We can prevent wildfires here. No open flames outside. In addition to that, fully put out all cigars and cigarettes. And then finally, limit sparks from flying from your vehicle. You'd be surprised. That could also cause some brush fires across the region. We'll go with a very high risk for the spread of wildfires today. This is mainly going to be in Atlantic and Ocean counties. In Cape May County, a sea breeze should kick in and put some more moisture in the air. In Cumberland, probably about the same. Again, mainly Atlantic and Cape May counties because the, the ground is very dry here and we do have a breeze as we go into today. Plenty of sunshine as well. That sunshine in conjunction with sustained winds, 15, maybe even 20 miles an hour, will give us the spread of wildfire, especially when they're coming out of the north and the northwest, which lowers our humidity. This humidity, 60, 70 percent, pretty low for 530 a.m. We go into the afternoon, watch us dry out. Anything below 40 percent, you start thinking about wildfires. That's a good portion of the inland areas. And then as we go into the afternoon here, 23 in Hamilton, 25 in EHT. I mean, this is a chapstick alert. But also an alert for the potential of the spread of wildfires here. Now, eventually, some more moist air comes into Cape May County, perhaps even Cumberland as well. But it's going to stay dry even into the evening, too, here. Take a look at our forecast conditions. Temperatures in the 60s at 10 a.m. here. Plenty of sunshine to go around as we go into our day. By 4 o'clock, typically the warmest part of the day will be around 70 inland, mid to upper 60s at the coast. That sea breeze should kick in. You see a pretty quick drop in Cape May County there. And then as we go into the evening, temperatures falling into right around the 50 degree mark around midnight or so. We do have that risk for frost, too, because of the low humidity, in addition to lighter winds that will come as we go after midnight. And then also the fact that, you know, hey, we have also some clear skies too. Well, in these areas in blue, you might have the potential for frost here. So you want to make sure you protect your plants as lows get into the 36 to 38 degree range there, 40s elsewhere. That will kick off what's going to be a cool but bright later half of the week. Thursday and Friday, both below average. With high pressure in charge, but high pressures to our east, that's going to bring us more of an onshore cooler flow as we go into Thursday and Friday. So here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast here. 72 on Wednesday, 65 on Friday, excuse me, Thursday, and then 70 on Friday here. So temperatures below average Thursday and Friday. Average highs right now, 73, 74 degrees. Saturday, some rain showers here. I don't think it's a washout. If you have plans in the morning, they look okay. If they're during the afternoon, kick them to Sunday. It should be dry during that time here with temperatures in the upper 70s. We go over to the shore seven day here, staying in the 60s for most of the seven day. Average highs though are only in the upper 60s. So this is fairly seasonable. The one exception again is going to be Thursday. You know how it is in spring. Two steps forward, one step backward. That's our step backwards on Thursday. But overall, plenty of sunshine here throughout this period looking fairly nice. But again, we do have that wildfire threat as we go into our Wednesday.